Ever since the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2B2T reached immense popularity on YouTube in March 2019. Hundreds of videos got created explaining history and facts about the server. I personally consider this topic extremely interesting, so I collected a few facts that you might not have heard of yet. Did you for example know that Housemaster, the well-known mysterious owner of the server, is actually not the original owner? Did you know that there is a way to skip the queue on 2B2T, which usually takes multiple hours to go through to log onto the server? Have you ever seen the original ungriefed spawn of 2B2T? Have you ever heard that 2B2T used to be a Gary's Mod server and that the 2B2T map is home to a naturally generated snow golem, which usually, according to Mojang, should not be possible? Stay tuned till the end, because this video is definitely going to present you a few facts about the oldest and anarchy server in Minecraft that you have never heard of. All of us probably know that Two Builders Two Tools is the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. At this point it even has become a meme. But did you know that 2B2T is also one of the longest running unaltered server maps in the game? The map has never actually been reset since its first creation in Minecraft version beta 1.3 which gives it this status. Speaking of the beginnings of 2B2T's map, what you see on the screen right now is 2B2T's seat. If we take this seat and go to Minecraft version beta 1.3 we can actually explore what the well-known 2B2T spawn looked like when the server started in December 2010, almost 11 years ago. So here we are. This is what 2B2T would have looked like if you would have joined it when it first released. It's crazy to think about how it looks like this nowadays. This version of the spawn that you can find on the actual 2B2T map is extremely hard to escape from as a new player, since its toxic community is trying to hunt down and kill new players at all costs and the griefed environment is so hard to survive in. Let's go on with the facts. The one and only Housemaster is known for being the owner of 2B2T. But did you know that actually he was not the original owner of this server? An unknown person gifted the initial server to Housemaster who founded 2B2T together with his friend, known as George. Due to the second owner's bad internet connection, Housemaster more or less became the owner of the Anarchy server. This brings us right to the next fact. The person that gifted Housemaster the server used it for Gary's mod first, before Housemaster and George used it for Minecraft. The server's map is insanely big and numerous different players and bots have logged in over the past decade. But how big exactly is that map and how many players have seen it so far? As of February 2021, almost 650,000 different accounts have logged into 2v2t over time and the file size for the map is more than 10 points. 3 terabytes. If you're not familiar with these kinds of measurements, I'll try to put that into perspective for you. My computer has 2 terabytes of base memory storage and 2 terabytes of additional memory storage and this is already pretty unusual. An average Windows system based computer has between 0.3 and 0.5 terabytes of storage. The storage needed to hold 2B2T's map only is enough to save 1,236,000 average sized photos or songs. We are approaching our second last fact that you hopefully have never heard of before. 2B2T is home to a naturally spawned snow golem. This creature is not able to naturally spawn in Minecraft, so to understand why that is a thing, I have to explain a few basic Minecraft mechanics first. A snow golem is formed by placing a pumpkin on top of two snow blocks. Patches of pumpkins spawn naturally in Minecraft worlds. There are also biomes in which snow blocks spawn. So on 2B2T, a patch of pumpkins spawned in one of of these snow biomes and ice plain spikes biome to be exact. This makes it so you can actually find a naturally generated snow golem by loading up 2B2T seed in 1.12.2 and going to the coordinates shown on the screen. Let us investigate that. So around here should be this little miracle and yes I already see the pumpkins. Let's see. Let's see and yeah that's it. That's our special little fella. He's actually here. He randomly generated, I think he he might have generated here, because that's pretty unusual that there's just a dirt block peeking out of the... Actually, um, okay, never mind. <laughs> but this just looks like his his place, you know what I mean? Probably he spawned here, just, just 
a personal feeling of myself, you know what I mean. It is crazy to see this for yourself, so I would definitely suggest you checking this out on your own. Let's talk about our last fact, the one that you've probably all been waiting for. How to skip the queue on 2B2T. There's a website that provides a Discord bot that is programmed to log into 2B2T and save you a place in the queue. Like that, you can log into 2B2T on your phone while still being at school or work, and as you're home, you can join the game and find yourself with only a waiting time of a couple minutes left. The download for this is suspected to steal your personal information as you use it, so be sure to check the code before you use it, and only utilize it if you actually know what you are doing. I severely warn you, download this at your own risk. I left the link to the website explaining this in the video description down below. And these were a few facts that you hopefully have never heard about the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, cause it helps me a ton. If you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost a single dime and you can change your mind at any time. If you learned something today or have some unknown facts that I didn't include, be sure to leave a nice little comment, I read and answer all of them. That's it for today, hopefully see you next weekend, goodbye. Thank you.